Hey, um, <laughs> now he's probably probably one of the best sporting voices in the country. In fact, he's got, got like probably uh, he's, he has a lot of the best sporting voices in the country. He's a sportaholic. He's yep. one of the funniest men in Australia, and he's the perfect guest on the eve of the third Ashes Test. Please welcome 12th man Billy Birmingham. <laughs> I brought my own water. Yeah, thanks we for the work. Keep nice and hydrated. And I We're brought a more optimistic view than Sparta. We're going to beat all of those teams. Spain. <laughs> uh, seriously, we're going to whip their asses off. See, still, um, you, you have a bit of a football. Uh, well, you started with. In well, football. the first sport I ever played was soccer. In the under eight curl curl beavers, I played for. Um, what a side! That's, it. Hey, the that's, curl -curl a beavers. that's an interesting um, it is, team it is. name. I know it is a very interesting name. You can do a lot of things with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we won't do anything we, we won't tonight. Do we won't do the curl today. curl beavers. And then, uh, 16 years ago, I actually coached my son's under eight team. Oh, nice. Where was what? that? Uh, down in Barrel. And under eights, as you know, it's just trying to get them to spread the hell out instead of running around like... <laughs> and running, you know, around, 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 running around, running exactly. over their mum, hugging, yeah, nice. Exactly. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's my connection to the to code. Football. So, you, but you've just released a new CD. It's called Willy Nilly. Tell it us is. about that. Uh, Willy Nilly is the best of the 12th man. I've never done that before. I've been going for three decades. Uh, most of this audience weren't born, you know, when I first started. Neither yeah. was I. Uh, was yes. Was <laughs> so um, that's a long time to be hanging around, and the fans have often said to me, have you ever thought of doing a, a Biggest Hits album? So I decided that I would answer their call for the Ashes series, so I've got 33 of the most stupid bits of the 12th men, yeah. and they're all lined up and coming at you willy-nilly. I was, I was listening to the, some, some of them like the scrotum hydrometer and the stuff like that. <laughs> the scrotometer was uh, my attempt to keep up with Channel 9's ever-changing technology. Well, uh, the player comfort meter I was always intrigued with. I mean, how can some you got short, that on now? How can some short little fat guy be as comfortable as some tall lean guy? So I was always intrigued by the player comfort meter, so I invented a little thing called the scrotometer, which was just a couple of alligator clips. Uh, Lucy, Lucy doesn't understand at all. It's, just like, it's very simple. Spe speaking, <laughs> speaking of A couple stupid. of alligator clips that clip onto the player's scrotum and they give you moisture content, yeah, rash yeah, detection sensors. Speaking, speaking of would you stupid like to move on? things. Yes, yes I would. Please, I'd love please. to. Speaking of stupid please things. <laughs> Billy, you had a fantastic clip that um, is actually one of our personal favourites. We listened to it in the office this week. But that was your Socceroos commentary. Now, yeah, we've got a clip that we're going to play for so everyone much. to have a listen to. Now, did they to. put some one footage of my to favorites. it for me? Yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. Oh, let's yeah. let's play that Can one now because it is just fantastic. It does well. Too, and obviously, you're one of them. Aren't I'm, you? One, I'm one of them. Are you right? an itch? Ah, I'm an itch. You are. Another yeah, itch there. Another and you're an itch. And I'm there's an plenty itch. in the crowd oh, as well. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but I wanted to ask you I, I love uh, watching that and hearing that. Do you ever get anyone that's actually offended by some of the, no, the voices? No, no. Um, in fact, well, I've had a lot of skis and itches come up to me saying <laughs> that they love the soccer bit. Look, I've had a lot of fun with the names over the years with the, you know, the cricket, you know, the Pakistani, Indian, Sri Lankan names. Uh, and it's just. So you don't discriminate. No, well, it's just the thing is that, that, that none of my names ever say anything about race, creed, or culture. Yeah. It's just purely playing with words. So you know, like the, the, you know, the cricket, like you know, half a dozen Mars bars and, <laughs> and you know, peanut butter jars and a keep my teeth in a jar beside the bed. And, but um, um, I listened to the Olympics one as well. That it was is on that new yes. album, and that's. You just go across well, that the was, entire was world. Olympics, because it's a world, I was obviously able to... So I had, uh, you know, the Chinese girl gone shopping <laughs> uh, up against the Korean full car park. <laughs> uh, and in the other uh, quarterfinal, two more Koreans, you pack shit and so do you. <laughs> 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 Are we going to see an A-League version at all soon? Well, I'm, I'm certainly going to be. Uh, I'm certainly going to be studying. I think uh, we're probably not f that far away from the A-League. We've got some pretty challenging names for you to get through. Well, absolutely, eh? no. There's some great names to play with. Um, <laughs> well, but... there's also a lot of, you know, Corey Brown and. Well, who Smith are the commentators now? that I would go for, Matty? Who would like? Who are the ones that I should be working? David on? Bashir. David is Bashir. One? SBS's man. Come on, guys. Yeah. David yeah. Bashir. Yeah. And of course, Les Murray. Les, Les Murray. Murray. Les Murray. Les Murray. Hey, but look.
We'll, we'll come back to that very shortly. Still to come, uh, you're going to stick around yes. while we chat to the Melbourne Hearts player, Andrew Redmayne, live Ooh. from Fed Square. And up next, we catch up with, actually, the man, Les Murray, from Rio. Don't go anywhere. Ooh. You're watching Thursday FC. Yeah.